Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have a reading for you guys, which is your next boyfriend or girlfriend. So I have five groups. Take your time, pause the video right now if you have to. Like really take your time. Pick with your intuition, like breathe in deeply. Ask your angels, angels. My next boyfriend or girlfriend, my next girlfriend, my next boyfriend. So take your time. Group one, group two, group three, group four, group five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Take your time right now. Pause the video if you need to. I'm going to start with group number one. Let's see what the card says for you. For everybody that is ready, you know, for group number one. So, okay. First thing I'm seeing with this card. Oh, Jesus, dear Lord. So, first thing I'm seeing, this person um, has been abandoned or maybe has had some child uh issues you know like from childhood um so i see that this person has abandonment issues or maybe is a person that does not like commitment and leaves abandons but i see this comes from childhood this comes from um you know like trauma from the past so i see that this person you know probably feels very lonely and this person that is going to be your next boyfriend or girlfriend it, it has some issues regarding abandonment or maybe he was adopted or maybe he had these issues of people leaving in his life and you know it got really just um what is it it traumatized it traumatized that person. He he or she got traumatized because of that. So I see that this person puts on a double face and it becomes this uh, situation where he's pretending to probably be some someone else or be something else or have some things that he really doesn't have, he or she doesn't have. Like for what I'm seeing right here is that this person because it does not want you to leave, that this person is gonna be, whoa, Mm, pretending whatever it is that you want, trying to do whatever it is, like just trying to please you and trying to do whatever it is that you want. And this is, is causing him to pretend to like some things or pretend to do some things because you're going to be liking these things and that person, he, like it has some issues and trauma. So I'm seeing that this person is going to be trying to, you know, be like you and trying to just like... um pretend a little bit to be more like you even though that this person is not going to be like you that much but maybe this is because you know like uh in in this person's mind i'm seeing that this person is going to be trying to fit in maybe fit in with your friends maybe fit in with your family and this means that this person is going to be right it's going to be like um trying to just put up a show or put up uh, an attitude or put up like an image of this person that well he, this person is really not what what it's saying is really not what it is like that. it's not okay so this is what i'm seeing this person um you're probably going to meet this person in a friendly setting you're probably going to meet this person through friends or in a public place but this person has some trauma going on okay right. abandonment issues childhood issues maybe it's daddy issues or mommy issues you know and this person is going to be pretending some things maybe this person is just like not going to be themselves 100%. Of course not. They're not going to be themselves because they're trying to get you. Like They're going to be trying to like for you to not leave them. Okay. So they're very insecure. And this person might be might be like um older person than you. For a lot of you, this person is going to be an older person. And you're going to meet this person, maybe become friends first. Maybe a lot of you are going to be friends and, and then or meet them through your friends. You're going to meet that person through your friends. But uh, there, there's some issues going on with this. Okay, there's some issues. I see that this person might be, you know, abundant, might have some money or might work in a very abundant job. And this person well, you know, has focused all, all of their energy and time into working and maybe they, they're really hard workers, right? They're really hard workers because they're trying to give their partners, um, well, what you know, everything to, to please them and stuff and pretend some things that they're not because they think that if they do that, they're going to get major, well, um, 
everything's going to get better, right? Everything's going to be okay because you, they, if they pretend to be someone else, then you're going to like them better, you know? Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like, you know, fix my words, but yes, trauma, some, some, maybe this person is very insecure, but I see this is a very hardworking person because maybe they might be lonely or they might be uh, just like a lot into work and that's why they have so much abundance, but this person is, uh, and it's a little bit more maturing, that's what I'm seeing. This person needs a little bit more maturing. It's going to be okay like your relationship is not going to be bad but this person has some issues yes it does they they have some issues that you, you're gonna need they're gonna need help okay from you to work on these issues and wow so a lot of you are manifesting a person a lot of you are are manifesting this new girlfriend or bo and, and boyfriend and it's gonna it's gonna work it's gonna work for y'all you're gonna get what you're asking for you know from the universe is, is this coming for you so this is what i'm seeing for group number one i hope you guys liked it let's go with group number two Hello, everybody from group number two let's see what the card says for you your next boyfriend or girlfriend your next <clears throat> boyfriend or girlfriend. <clears throat> okay, so um, this person is very spiritual person. This person that you're going to be, like, is going to be your next partner. Very, very spiritual. And I see that this person is always, like, uh, looking for a job and working and, and probably focused on job, focused on studying. Maybe for a lot of you, this means that this person is just like, it, you know, like doing their career and fixing their career and um, studying something that they're going to be making more money on, right? And it's going to be a good thing for them because I see them having success in their job and having success with, with the, you know, in their career also. Whatever it is that they're studying, it's, it's going to be good for them. So I'm seeing that this person is a very spiritual person they might be a tarot reader they might be a psychic or they might be just like maybe they a lot of them work with medicine or a lot of them work with um helping people in some way but i do see medicine like medicine or maybe hospitals or maybe people working um you know around hospitals or for a lot of you for a lot of you with these cards, this person might be a mortician or this person might be very interested in death. Like I said, they have some special powers. So for a lot of them, they might be mediums also. They might have some powers to talk to the dead and, you know, communicate to the other side. Not for a lot of you, like not everybody has is going to have these characteristics, but they might be interested in it. They For a lot of them, they might be mediums. They might be psychics. This next people, this next boyfriend, this next partner that you're going to be getting is very spiritual and works with, you know, helping people. That's what I see also. And it's going to be making some money in whatever it is that for a lot of you, they're studying still. So they're going to be making some good money in their career later on. So I see a lot of spiritual in your next, um, your next partners, it might be like guided or something it might be just guided, you know, from the heavens, they might guide you to, to that person. For a lot of you, you guys have been dreaming about this person, thinking about this person. And for a lot of you, you just know that this special person is coming to you because I see that the angels is, they're going to be helping you with this person, the angels. The, the, that's why this person is very spiritual because like, it means that a lot of you are going to, you know, are going to like see the spiritual side of things and maybe get into it. And for a lot of you, you guys are a spiritual and you guys deserve a spiritual uh, partner, right? That's why the angels are going to be helping you because you deserve to be like in a spiritual, you know, awakening. You, you're going to be having a spiritual awakening very soon. For a lot of you, you guys are going through a spiritual awakening. And this means that your partner, for a lot of you, you guys are going to be attracting a spiritual partner, right? A spiritual person, a spiritual partner. So for a lot of you, this person could have you know could work you know with dead people could be a medium or could be a mortician or a doctor also so I see medicine so 
yeah, it's very, very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. Very nice. Very nice. But um, your next boyfriend or girlfriend, your next partner, I see that is going to be like very chill, very chill, relaxed. They're going to like to take vacations. They're going to like to just like have fun in life because I see this person like uh, it probably has had some loss or it probably, you know, had to deal with things uh, in the past that were very rough, but I see that this person, you know, is like trying to have a more relaxed life and it's probably going to be like that with you too. Like your next partner is going to have this, um, just this, this sense of life of, uh, you know, loving life and very positive and very just, you know, like loving life and trying to enjoy the life because for what I see that for a lot of you, your next partner has had some losses, you know, maybe they're, they're very, um, family, maybe they're, they're very close family, mom and dad at a very young age, or maybe later on in their life, but it has, it has something that has been rough on them. They have had some losses. And so that's, that's a lot. That's some of the reasons why they went into spirituality because maybe they, I don't know, they, ha they lost someone, you know, they lost someone very close. And, but I see that they're trying to, you know, be relaxed with your life, enjoy life because they know that life is very short and that's all they want to do. It, very close to spirituality, very close to, you know, working with people and, it's just a very nice person for what I'm seeing in the cards. Very, very nice. You're going to be meeting this person very soon because it's guided by the angels. The angels are going to be helping you find this person. And this person is going to be guided to you. Like, you guys are going to be guided to each other. It's going to be perfect. It's going to, it's going to be very good. So that's what I'm seeing with card number two. Group number two. I hope you guys liked it. Let's go with group number three. Hello, everybody from group number three. Let's see what the card says for you. Your next boyfriend or girlfriend. Let's see what the card says. Let's see what the card says. Your next boyfriend or girlfriend. Oh, my gosh. So, okay, the first thing I'm seeing, this person already has a family. This person, this mean, okay, it could mean that this person is a divorcee, right? Has a family, you know, like... It doesn't mean that they're going to be having a lot of childs and you're going to have to take care of them. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean like that. OK, what it means that this person already has a family, already has a compromise and they he might he or she might be divorced right now. But it still has, you know, the compromise to to, you know, <laughs> making all those children grow up. Right. So that's what I'm seeing. It has family. And so this person already knows like the value of being in a very close relationship, the value of being of being in a very mature and close relationship. So this person is gonna be a good person for you in in, in the romantic situation. It's going to be good for you because this person does not want to play games. This person is going to be working towards marrying you or maybe living together with you. That's what I'm seeing. It's going to be working towards being together for you in a very formal relationship, in a very, you know, mature relationship because that person already has family or already has been married before and that person knows how it is and once uh once uh, someone that doesn't play wants someone that uh, wants the same things as that person so that person is going to be trying to marry you very soon it might be like a relationship that is going really fast it might be something like that and i see that this person like already has some sort of like family that you're gonna have to deal with okay you're gonna have to deal with this family i'm not saying you're gonna have to take care of the kids or anything i'm not saying that but you're going to have to take care of that. You're going to have to, like, you know, like, um, deal with the ex-wife, with the ex-husband. You're going to have to deal with that. And I do see some toxicity maybe from the from that, that person's ex-situation. Okay, that that girl, that 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 guy might come after you because, you know, your partner is gonna be having a new a new partner, so that's gonna be irritating for the for the kids, for the family, and stuff like that. So I do see some toxic situations that might happen because of that side of the family, right? Because of that side of the family. So yeah, 
very weird <laughs> situation that you might experience because of the excess, you know. But like, and maybe the kids also, maybe they not, they're not gonna like you, right? But I do see this person is gonna want to be with you like very fast and, and might fall in love with you very, very soon. You guys might fall in love with each other like really, really fast. And I see this person is gonna be, you guys are gonna be working towards being a very good and mature relationship, right? It's, it's gonna work out, it's gonna be good. There's gonna be some toxicity from the other side of the family, right? There's, there's gonna be some situations that are gonna be very somewhat toxic and you're gonna have to deal with this because this person already has a family and I see that this person wants some compromise. So it might, because this person wants some compromise, is gonna ask you to marry that person or you guys are gonna be talking about marriage very, very fast or living together. So this person is gonna have like, probably this person in the past has had a lot of, uh, maybe a lot of uh, girlfriends or a lot of boyfriends, you know? This person has, has done, you know, the ha, has had fun uh, in, in their young years. They they have had fun. So they they might for a lot of you, this person might be you know a dr might have a drinking problem. Or for a lot of you, this person you know you know ha, you know had a lot of fun when they were younger and they're done with this toxicity and they're done with this situation. The parties, the the everything, the everything. And that's why at this very moment, when whenever you meet this person, they're gonna want to have a serious relationship, right? So for a lot of you, because of this person, uh, you know, they they partied, they did, they that, they had a lot of fun. They're ready to, you know, ha have a mature relationship. They're ready. And for a lot of you, there's going to be some consequence of all that partying and, and all that having fun. For a lot of you, this might mean that this person drinks a lot. That might mean that this person has some, you know, like... You know, some, some things that you're going to have to deal with, like drinking and probably smoking and stuff like that. But other than that, that's per that person is going to be okay. Like, you guys are going to be okay because that person is going to be faithful. It's going to want a nice relationship. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, group number three. I hope you guys liked it. Let's go with group number four. Hello, everybody from group number four. Let's see what the card says for you. Your next boyfriend or girlfriend. Your next boyfriend or girlfriend. Oh, my goodness. No. Oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> okay. So, what I'm seeing right here, you, you're you going to meet this person. This person is not going to have that much money, okay? It's not going to have that much money. I see that this person, like, it has a lot of stress from not having a lot of money. It has a lot of stress from having to work every day and just not making ends meet. You're going to meet this person, and, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to just, like, you know, <laughs> not gonna have a lot of money it's gonna be it's gonna be a trouble situation because it's, it's just gonna affect that person you know to not have a lot of money and and stuff like that i see that this person might be a, a little boring because all that person is gonna have to do is work or maybe focus on their finances or focus on you know trying to make ends meet but <clears throat> other than that i see that you guys are gonna are gonna you know, like, meet each other, and you guys are gonna click, okay, you, this person is gonna have a lot of stress, and it's gonna have a lot of worries, you know, concerning money, that's what I'm seeing, so, for a lot of you, you guys might get pregnant with this person very soon, you guys might have their first child, or their third child, or whatever, with this person, for a lot of you, you guys are gonna get pregnant, might get pregnant uh, with this person, and this is like, this is very weird because I see that a lot of you are going to get married. A lot of you, because of this pregnancy, you guys are going to live together. You guys are going to, like, everything's going to work out. You guys are going to have trouble, though, with money, with the economic situation. It's not going to be good. Uh, and I see you being very, like, bored in your house or very bored, maybe bored because of all the money situations. I see that a lot of you are not going to be that happy because, like, the situation, the money situation is not going to improve that much. And for a lot of you, you guys getting pregnant with this person is gonna make it worse but I do see you whenever you meet this person like you're gonna adapt to that okay the problems are gonna start later whenever you get pregnant or whenever whenever you get married to this person like live together with this person <clears throat> what's get what's gonna be happening is that you're gonna be very like like probably a lot of you are gonna be very bored and just like wanting more out of the relationship right but 
like yeah it's, it's, it's gonna be tough right it's gonna be tough in the economic situation it's gonna be tough with the abundance it's gonna be it's gonna be tough that's what i see you like have, it's a very like big energy in the cards the money situation because you might deal with it for years you might deal with this situation this economic situation being like that for years so that's what i'm seeing that the cards are telling me hey be careful like if you don't want this then don't right don't don't let that person get near you right because then you're gonna have to deal with this and for a lot of you you guys are gonna get pregnant very soon with this person so you you're gonna have to like take care of you know take care of that take care of like not get pregnant and take care of you know like if you don't want to live with this person because that person is not gonna have a lot of money then whenever you meet them be careful right like walk away <laughs> but if you want to, like, you don't care that you're going to be in a financial strain for years or you you don't care that you're going to be having this trouble with the finance, with the money, then go ahead. It's, you're going to get bored. I see that you're you're going to need something else in life. You know, whenever you are in this marriage and this <clears throat> living together with this person, you are going to be in need of something else. I see you. You're going to be, like, stuck and feeling just, like, drained. But overall you're gonna have a good relationship you're gonna want something else out of the relationship and you're gonna be you're not gonna be getting it but for a lot of you that might not affect you i see you moving forward with this relationship getting like you know living together and and probably getting married yeah so this person mm, uh, for what I see, this person is young. This person is young. You are young. That person is young. You guys are gonna make some mistakes, and but you're gonna be okay. You might you might have some lo a long relationship with this with this person. You're gonna have a long relationship, right? But uh, yeah, it's gonna be difficult in some situations. It's gonna it's gonna be difficult. This um next boyfriend or next girlfriend of yours. So that's what I'm seeing with the cards. I hope you guys liked it. Let's go with group five. Hello, everybody from group number five. Let's see what the card says for you. Mm, your next boyfriend or girlfriend. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay. So this is very interesting. I see <clears throat> your next boyfriend. Oh, man. Your next boyfriend or girlfriend. This person um, <clears throat> is going to walk away from someone. I see that this person is going to walk away from someone. You might meet this person with and this person is already gonna have a partner okay already gonna have a partner and it's gonna cause a lot of trouble it's gonna cause a lot of disappointment okay so <laughs> my cat was on the way but what i'm seeing with this situation is that you're gonna be meeting someone that is already gonna be married or it's already gonna be like in a relationship yeah so you're going to be with this person, yes, you're going to be having this relationship, but it's going to go through a lot of trouble before you are with this person in a real relationship. So for a lot of you, you guys might be in a romantic situation, but not really partners, you know, maybe lovers. But I see that you're going to be causing a lot of trouble uh, because this guy or this girl is just going to be leaving their partner for you. So I see a lot of pain and and I see breakup and pain and just leaving that other person behind for, for that person to be with you. So your next relationship for a lot of you is going to be just someone that is already taken or maybe it's married but they're separated yeah maybe it might be a little situation like that okay they were together but they separated now but they're still they still have some papers that you know unite them in some way so it could be different for a lot of you but i see that that you're gonna be you're gonna be like in a relationship with a, with a person like that right and it's gonna be like it's gonna be a strong relationship for y'all it's gonna be strong and your love is going to grow. Wow, that's amazing. So your love is going to grow. It's going to be amazing for what I'm seeing. It's going to be a stable, mature relationship. After all this drama, after all this pain, and after all these difficulties, you guys are going to be a strong relationship that is going to be growing, and you guys are going to be stable and very mature with whatever it is that you want. Like, you're going to give yourself a chance, and it's going to work out for you. This person, like, is going to bring some trouble because of, you know, the, the relationship status but 
it's going to be worth it for what I'm seeing. It's going to be worth it. Oh, that's amazing. So, yeah, this, this person, uh, it might be the same age of you or it might be a little bit uh, younger for a lot of you or yeah, because I'm not seeing like it's a lot older. I'm not seeing that it's going to be older, older, older. No, I'm seeing that it might be the same age of you or maybe a little bit, a little bit um younger. So this person is going to have a lot of growing up to do, a lot of maturing, but it's going to work out for you. It's going to work out. This person is going to be... It's going to be it, like everything's going to be good. It's going to be a very good relationship for you. And I see that this person is a very, it's very thoughtful. So it's, it, it's going to be like that. This person is going to love you in, in some way that it's going to be. You might be their soulmate or something because as soon as that this person is going to be meeting you, this person is going to be like, you know, cutting ties with the people around them. Cutting ties. It's, there's going to be some pain involved. Of course, there's, there's going to be some, you know, like pain and disappointment and everything. But this person is going to be able to do it because this person is going to love you so much. And this person, like your relationship with this, with this person is going to be so, so amazing and so strong. Because this person is going to be like, you know what? That's my real love. I have to leave this person behind because you are my true love. You are my true love. So for a lot of you, this could be a soulmate connection. Or for a lot of you, this could be just like a, a relationship that you have to experience. A relationship that you have to experience in order to learn from it, right? It's meant to be in your destiny. It's meant to be in your life. Yeah, so that's what I'm seeing. It's going to be a good relationship after all. It's going to be good. So don't you worry. I hope you guys liked it. And, well, subscribe. That, that's it. <laughs> subscribe. I'll see you later.